Hi there guys, this is something new that I'm going to try on the channel. Um, decided to build a new PC, so what I'm going to do is, when I have get an, a new part in, I'm going to do a little unboxing, and then once I've got all my parts together, um, I'll actually do a video of me building my PC. Um, it's going to have 970s, SLI, two of them, water cooling loops, um, and in a nice Corsair case, which should be arriving soon. So this is my first part that arrived, my motherboard. Uh, I'm just going to show it to you now. So that's the back. Don't know whether that's in focus or not. This is not my camera. So. I don't know if you're going to be able to read all that, but we'll get into it soon enough anyway. So this is the motherboard, it's full ATX. Can't really see too much at the minute. Let's have a look at what's inside before we open it up. We've got some SATA cables, nice, see that? <laughs> nice MSI gaming badge that will be going on my new case when the build when the build is done. Nice little door hanger. I'll be using that. <laughs> Some what appear to be stickers. However, I'm not too sure what they're used for at the minute. Seems to be about cabling. But we'll wait and see if one build's done. If I use any. A little manual. Quite nice. Installation guide for fans and other various bits and pieces. Back panel, nice black and red with the MSI logo on. Don't know if you can see that. Nice SLI bridge, MSI logo on there. Although I probably will be getting a new one of these. Just one that lights up to go with the colour scheme of my case. Installation disc, drivers, not really used too much. Right, so let's get onto the motherboard. I have gone for an AMD build because I've got an, an 80, 8350 at the minute and I'm very happy with it and I did not have the need to uh, buy an expensive i7 build as well as get it open there we go If that's in focus, that's all right. So here we have the motherboard. Nice oh, MSI logo on there. I believe that lights up red. So we'll have to wait and see. Got quad channel DDR3 memory. CPU slot, heat sinks, nice black and red. And the back panel, got the gaming device port. Oh, <laughs> triple gold plated USBs, more USBs, USB 3.1s, which I'm very excited to 
try and use that on test. The um, what's it called? A gigabit networking killer. I'm probably getting that wrong. Um, but that's supposed to give you a better gaming experience. Although I can't complain with mine at the minute, so probably won't notice much of a difference. And then you've got your 7.1 audio. And then your PCIe slots. So I will be having two 970s and an extra uh, PCIe card for more USB slots because I do tend to use quite a lot. And um, you got your fan headers. Oh. <laughs> fan headers, not really in focus. Some stuff at the bottom. And the SATA ports along the side. I want, my case will only allow two SSDs and two hard drives. So I won't be using all of those up. I won't be using all the slots up either. So that is the board. I'm very excited to use it. Alright. Hi again guys. Um, today I actually got two more parts in the mail. So I'm going to put this on with the motherboard. It's only two small parts so we should be able to get it done quite quickly. Let's get this opened. First of all is just a standard standard Samsung DVD writer. Just for those occasional rare occasions where you actually need to use a disc. I've got the slots for it on my PC so I may as well use one. So I'm not gonna really be opening up this because it's pretty standard. Next part is doo -doo -doo. See that? My Hyper Savage RAM. It's quite a nice shade of red. I would have thought it would be a little bit bigger, uh, but um, that's nothing to complain about. It leaves me more room for my water cooling. So I'm not going to be opening these up um, until I do my actual build, just to keep everything nice and tidy. So it's uh, 16 gig, two 8 gig sticks at 18.66 megahertz. So that's it for today, guys.